Welcome to another exciting episode of the Business of Digital podcast, featuring your hosts, Matt Siltala and Dave Rohr. Hey guys, excited to have you join us on another one of these Business of Digital podcast episodes. We got Dave over there somewhere. Hey Dave. I am here. How's it going, sir? It is going. So we had fun with this one, you know, this one that we want to chat with uh, everyone about today, or I I should say you had fun with this one. I did have fun with this one. I got to give (laughs) you work to do. (laughs) Don't you know you don't give a retired person work to do? (laughs) Yeah, yeah. So anyway, just, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll save you the suspense. And, and basically what uh, happened was, uh, Dave comes to me and he's like, you're going to put this uh, podcast episode uh, together this week. Everything. I, I, everything. Do everything. I'm, I'm out of time. Here, here, here's everything. And, uh, you know, this is something that I've never done before. And uh, it's, you know, this is the part of it that I, I really don't take care of on this podcast. Um, this is something that Dave's been taking care of from the beginning. And so this was fun. This was an interesting uh, experiment. It worked. I don't think I broke anything too badly. I don't think so. I think it sounded okay. Yep. <laughs> but, and it's interesting too, because, um, and it's probably good that we're talking about this as well, Dave, because, you know, you use PC, I'm on Mac. Yep. And so, you know, there's different programs that uh, you use that that, uh, that I use. And so, um, I guess what, uh, you know, what it comes to is, you know, we use, we use this uh, TriCast. It's just the T R Y C A dot S T um, to record episodes, and then once we get them recorded, um, and again, Dave, you can correct me if I'm wrong on any of this, but uh, basically, Dave just dumps them into a Dropbox uh, area where you know the uh, the audio files, and then uh, we grab those audio files and then put them together, and and then uh, you know upload them to the website and uh, go from there, and so. Basically, um, this was was interesting because I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to use. I have used, um, you know, QuickTime in the past. I've I've tried some other programs, but I ended, ultimately ended up using GarageBand for this, Dave. And um, basically, I got the files from Dropbox. You know, the, the way that uh, the TriCast records is is it uh, does a no, that was Zencaster. I just uploaded them that way for you. Ah, thank you. Appreciate that. No problem. So, there you go. Um, one one more thing uh, that you learn. And so, uh, I have two separate audio files, and I, I basically just uploaded uh, or opened up a GarageBand, and then I put the two files in there. I also have a intro file that Dave and I have created. You created um, that. I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> well... We, we edited it, yeah. I, so I put it together, and, uh, you know, so we have this little quick uh, two, three-second intro. Just throw that on there, line up uh, where we start chatting with each other, um, and, then, uh, and then process it. It was, a, it was, it, it was interesting um, to go through it because one of the things that uh, Dave has said on our WordPress uh, when you upload these because what what plugin is it again that uh, that you're using on uh, WordPress for us uh, for the podcasting? Way to ask me, and I have no idea. It's, um, <laughs> shoot, it is. That's all right. Um, da, 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 we da, can. Da. I'm stalling as my page loads <laughs> so that I can look at the plugin list, and I can tell you it's something easy. It's a uh, seriously simple podcasting. Oh yeah, that's right. Seriously simple podcast. I, I'm like, I know it's easy or simple, <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, seriously simple podcasting. It just it creates, um, and there's a couple of different systems and plugins and stuff that you can use, um, like Burberry or Blueberry or whatever it is. Um, right. Hosting has their own kind of plugin that ties into their hosting if you host with them. Um, this is just one that I found. Uh, what 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 year is it? What month? Um, some two years ago now. Yeah, uh, two and a half years ago yeah. when I first started building the site. I just found this one that was agnostic to hosting. So no matter where I host, it doesn't really care. Yeah. Um, and I like that because at the time I had no idea who we were going to host with. And it, and it still can change. And it still could. Yeah. Um, so. I literally just, um, I think it was episode 85. I may have looked it up the other day for someone. 
um, where we talked about hosting for mm. for your yeah. podcast. But yeah, so so I love that plugin. It makes it very easy. You basically um, you you get the file, and the reason I brought that up, Dave, is because you have it set to a a certain amount of you, you will not let it be bigger than you know the file size be bigger than a a certain amount i can't remember if it was like 15 megabytes that is a wordpress thing that i've tried to screw with um and actually i think it was smaller before i should probably increase it because we at one point for spotify to get into spotify you can't have a 96K, which is what we used to do. Uh, um, I had to up it to 128. And so our file size went from average of nine to 15, gotcha. or nine to 13, to 18 to, like at 128, if you look at an MP3 on your computer or your Mac, if you're a crazy mm -hmm. person <laughs> um, like you, it's 128 is almost one minute to one megabyte. Yeah. And if you were ever a Napster user, you know that. Um, <laughs> that's yes, how I learned. Napster. That's how I may have learned. Um, and that's so now that we're at 128, if we have a 25 minute, you know, episode, right. it's probably 22 to 25, 26. Well, and that's the thing I, that. I, thank that you that for I, reminding me because I just upload it uh, through, through FTP. <laughs> well, I, and, and I love it, uh, you know, the, the GarageBand part of it because. It gives you many different options for for saving. You can you can save different quality levels, and uh, I was able to compress it down and get it to um, under fifteen uh, megabytes to be able to upload it to the uh, the plugin, and it sounded great. It sounded fine. Like I you know there's I don't I would challenge anyone to to find a a huge difference in some of the other ones, but um, that's the thing that I love about GarageBand. If you're if you're using Mac and and you want to get into this and you want to figure out how to do something like this. Um, I had never done this before. Basically, Dave didn't give me any instructions. Nope, that was he, the goal. He, he <laughs> sent me, uh, he, he said, hey, here's the here's the files, you need to do it all. And um, so I uploaded them, got it all done with uh, GarageBand. GarageBand was very easy. I don't know if Dave wants to share the one that he uses uh, for, for people to play with that. Audacity. Audacity. It's a uh, freeware. I've looked at other ones and Audacity, I've just... We don't, yeah, we don't do, I, I go through and I listen to it and, and I look for like, like a cat or someone of us typing and I redo, I take out the noise, but that's really the extent of editing that I do. We don't chop it up. We don't have the, we're, we're a one take kind of shop. Um, yeah, we do. We don't take out parts of you know stuff i don't think and I, I don't think there's been a single interview where we've talked with other people or us um i think there's been like twice where within the first two minutes you and i screwed up and we yeah. just throw that away um but otherwise we pretty much just do one take and that's it and i just take out noise so i mean we very limited amount and of editing we do and it's and, and these programs are very easy for stuff like that if you wanted to get more heavily into it like with GarageBand, I'm pretty sure Audacity, um, with what you're with what you're sharing, you know, you can go in and you can get rid of of like annoying, you know, like if there's things that are that that have happened or if you said something way wrong and it was just one little part and you don't want to re, like, re yeah <laughs> that <laughs> like that exactly yourself, don't take that out, David. <laughs> so there, you know, you could do stuff like that with these programs, and that's what. Um, I found very easy with GarageBand and GarageBand of course is free, you know, on Mac if you have it. And so you can just drag and drop the tracks on there. There's different channels. Um, at least just the default that I have up, you know, there's, you, there's five different channels if you want. So I could, we could have potentially two more voices on this and it would be easy for me to, um, you know, mess around with. But, uh, so then you just get in there and you, and then you just figure out the, you know, how to compress it and share and all of it uh, is is fairly easy for you to figure out and then uh, once you get it uh, all that done and you have one mp3 file dave you just upload yep. it and um the thing that uh that we do and, and we try to we try to do this there's many reasons why i, I don't know if uh, seo is the main reason or just to be helpful 
um, or just to have content, but you know, we like doing write-ups. There's a lot of times that we talk about stuff in these podcasts that are visual. And so it's kind of hard to share something visually when you're listening to a podcast. And so we're, you know, this is where we share the visual side of it. We, we do the write-up. And so, uh, you know, I did the, the write-up there and, and basically just walking through people what we do. And, and I think it's a great, uh, it, it was a great exercise, Dave, and I'm glad that, uh, that I did it and went through it. And uh, I have more respect for what you do uh, with it every week and, uh, and, and, and appreciation. <laughs> But, yeah, the uh, write-ups, it depends. Like when we do, when we just did one where we walked through a bunch of tools, I already have the list of tools. And then all I have to do is as I'm listening for like weird noises and stuff, I just write down the notes and stuff. It's not a word for word. Um, you can do transcriptions and stuff. Some places are usually like a dollar a minute. Mm. Um, we don't, I mean, I don't think anyone really cares. I mean, either you're going to read the the summary or you're going to um, listen. Um, but yeah, and people sum- do it. And I have seen own. the summary come in handy at times when I've done certain uh, searches for for certain episodes, and it has made it rank. It has helped it come up. You know, there have been rankings from uh, the search engines because of those write ups, and and so those are always benefits that you get from it uh, as well. And I don't have to tell anyone that knows SEO anything about that but again that's just all part of what goes into making that that podcast episode live um it's 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 actually you know once you figure out how to do the recording and you have those recordings and you mix it together if you do it where your your voices you know like dave and i happen to be on different tracks the way that the system works that we use please do that whatever you're recording make sure you can get it in different tracks there you go tell them why so you can so that if I do that, um, and he, while he's talking, if and doing it's on, this, <laughs> yeah, well, if it's on the same file, you can't you can't take it out. Maybe you can, but for someone that doesn't really know a whole lot of editing and yeah. sep- you're basically going to have to separate it out so that you can find that noise and take it out. So, you know, when we used the Zoom for one time, I had to make sure that we could have download multiple tracks. We did that. When we used to first started using Skype, that was two audio files, thankfully. Um, you know, people that do it on location um, use different things. They have multiple mics. Mm, you don't yeah, use yeah. one mic because you will never be able to take out any background noise. Or if someone says something and you want to just take them out, you, there's, there's just no control over it. Yeah. So, uh, again, just kind of helping you guys understand from start to finish how to do one of these. Cause again, this is something, you know, I'm, I'm fairly good at, uh, you know, I, I have a background in radio and I've always been able to do pretty good with color commentary. And that's why a lot of what we do, you know, Dave and I here, we were able to do with one takes and stuff. Cause I have that background, but, um, I don't have a lot of heavy background with the, the technology side of it, as far as, as, you know, processing them and editing them and, and all that kind of stuff. And, and uh, I don't think Dave did before he really got into this either. Nope. But but um, that just goes to show you guys there that, you know, if, if anyone's afraid of getting into a podcast because they're afraid of, well, how am I going to do it? And how am I going to, you know, like, how do I record and then get it uploaded to a website and get it on a track, blah, blah, blah. You know, if if Dave could just throw it over to me, so to speak, and say, you're in charge of this one after two years of doing it, you know, anyone can do it. And so. And know, that was kind it, of the test. It was because. <laughs> For those listening that just saw our talk at PubCon, um, that was kind of the goal was, you know, our whole talk is talking about how anyone can do a podcast, yeah. you know, this was part of this was to give Matt the experience to go, okay, I did it. Like, I'm not even in WordPress every, like Matt's not even WordPress every day doing stuff. He's never really looked at the plugins and that kind of stuff. And I literally gave him no direction. I said, here figure it out, look at what I've done in the past, <laughs> you know, edit the things. Here's, here's the three <laughs> files, go at it, figure it out. And it took you what, maybe 30 to 45 minutes because yeah. you probably had to download some software the first time and do some other stuff. Yeah. It didn't take, you know, the, the only thing, the, the thing that took the longest was me figuring out how to get, when I was using garage uh, band, figuring out how to compress those files small enough and getting them 
um, to sound you know, decent. Yeah, getting them to sound decent and the right kind of uh, you know the the right size and whatnot. But anyway, frequency or whatever I, I was looking for. But yeah, it was fairly it was fairly easy, guys. I mean, if whether you're using Audacity or whether you are running Mac and you want to try out GarageBand, it was fairly simple getting it in there, getting the tracks on, um, editing them the way that you want. Um, making them into one mp3 file uploading that file uh, into whatever program that you're using for WordPress um, you or know whatever site or or whatever. or whatever site yeah exactly yeah and then just you know doing your titles you know obviously we're always thinking of what are the titles that people are going to be searching for what's related to this episode um, and uh, you know then and then doing the write-up you know if there's anything that you talked about uh, that's visual in your podcast and you want to share that, make sure you include that in your write-ups um, and, and then publish away. Like it really is that simple. I mean, I know that, that that's super oversimplification, but it really was that simple. And Dave literally gave me no direction and I, I figured it out and I got it done. And, and uh, again, my, some might say, well, you're, you know, you have a background in technology and it's true. I mean, I have a lot of uh, experience with computers and stuff like that, but never with anything like this and i was able to figure out just just by getting in and 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 uh, using the programs and i think anyone else will be able to as well dave well even like video software who does the video software in your house your kids yeah or your one son <laughs> my 13 year old yeah he's the one that does video stuff yeah he, like, he, he does our videos for us in fact at business of digital <laughs> yeah so you know it's not like matt is in there you know using stuff if it was lightroom yeah matt could do yeah. it um but I don't even think you use a lot of Photoshop these days anymore. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm dabbling in it, but but yeah, I'm yeah. I'm mostly Lightroom. Yeah, so it's like I mean, so it's not like you know you are familiar with that stuff. And even for me, you know, it took me a while. And for Audacity, GarageBand, whatever tool you use, I just went and looked up. Okay, I hear a noise. How do I get rid of it? And yeah. I just searched around Google for a while and I found help things and there's like tons of video. It's like, here, you click here, you click this, you do this, you do that. And I was like, well, oh, okay. We'll see that. Yeah, you bring up a good point. That's another thing that happened to me. One of the times when I was recording or, or trying to get the, the files into one MP3, um, there was this knocking that was going on every like second or so. I don't even know how to describe it, but like it wasn't like a knocking that we were making. It was like a knocking the program was making. And I was thinking, well... Maybe it's not going to show up in the final product, but it was there and it was super annoying and it shouldn't have been there. Um, but it, it, some, it was something within the program and in the settings that I had and I couldn't figure out how to get rid of it. So you know what I did? I Googled it. I was like, hey, GarageBand has this knocking sound and I can't get rid of it. You know, I can't even remember what I used to Google it, but it showed me exactly what I was doing, how to go about fixing it and doing it right and bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> yeah, it's just over the years that I've, like when we have guests on that either have microphones or even sometimes us, like some days I'm closer to the microphone than other days. Um, yeah. <laughs> and sometimes Matt is the same thing. And sometimes we have guests that are in what a very loud room. You go, there you go. Yeah. Um, Sunday, <laughs> Sunday, Sunday. Um, some of our guests are really loud and some of them are really quiet. I've yeah. learned over time how I can mess with the single um, things. And that's not something you need to know how to do right out of the gate. You just open the program and you screw around with it. Honestly, that's kind of what I was like, Oh, what does this do? And the thing Dave loves the most is my squeaky chair. No, I don't. Let me see <laughs> that chair. There we go. <laughs> it's not doing it now. But Dang yeah. it, it's not. <laughs> I, All right. Keyboards, keyboards and squeaky chair and like airplanes <laughs> flying over my house or like Corgi guy, dogs barking. Yeah. Dogs barking and People mowing behind, like, thankfully they started mowing today right before um, they're done now. But hey, we just, we bought electric mowers, so you can't even hear our mower now. You don't even have that much of a yard. But the yard we have, <laughs> dang it. Anyhow, <laughs> yes, I mean, you, the first couple episodes, you know, just record one or just record a couple two or three minute episodes and, you know, mess with the software. Yeah. Um, that's really the best way to do, but. I never had well, done it and you haven't and you were fine. Well, and that's what, you know, that's what we mentioned a little bit ago already. You know, this is something that you and I are continuing to try to improve and, you know, evolve, so to speak. We're trying to, to always figure out 
systems that will make this better, systems that will make it sound better, easier, more user-friendly, things that are better for us, better for the listeners. And so I don't think that, uh, you know, a lot of times people before they get, you know, and I know this because I've had these conversations with people, they're worried about making sure that everything is perfect before they get into it or they know exactly like... We still wouldn't be live. Oh, yeah, exactly. That's my, that's my point, you know. And so, like, we're continuing to grow and evolve, and that's my best advice to you guys. Or if you have a lot of money, go to a studio, you know, <laughs> and let them do it. Sure, you could do uh, that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but that's how I did video, like, over 10 years ago when um when i worked at sure payroll we started doing videos with our um with our ceo and what we did is we got a budget for just a a, a decent camera but not like top of the line um our graphics guy got the okay for getting like um adobe software no it was adobe so someone's um video software adobe and premiere he, yeah it might have been premiere and we got like one of those lighting setups, basic lighting setup, oh, yeah. and that was it. Like we spent a little bit of money. That's but all we you went, need. But that's how we started. And we actually recorded like- And I bet the videos were just fine. We recorded with some of us just to kind of figure out lighting and stuff. And we started screwing with it. And he was even like, this is, I mean, he'd been on at the time CNBC and Bloomberg and you know local news. Yeah. So his his expectation was, this is not studio quality, the sound like that. There were certain things that we fixed, um, but we did a couple takes and we couple did a couple versions for a couple weeks. And then we were like, okay, this doesn't, this isn't great, but it still doesn't suck completely. Yeah. And his goal was as long as we keep getting better, you know, the sound, the lighting and video and production, as long as we keep getting better, he was fine. And we did. Well, I mean, you're never going to be a Fox sucked studio at first, either. honestly. Sorry. <laughs> What's that? You're never going to be a Fox studio either. You're no, no, no. I mean, we literally would just go in the front of the office because it was a good spot and we would record. But yeah. we only did it once a month. So we would just practice. And each time it was like, okay, we'll add a couple more graphics or we'd improve the intro or improve the outro. And each time the goal was just to get a little bit better. And we did. Yep. Perfect. That's exactly so, it. And that's all, we, that's all we try to do. And hopefully you do too. Yep. So that would be our biggest encouragement for you guys. Dave hit the nail on the head each time trying to get a little bit better. So it doesn't matter if it's audio or video, just, yeah. All right. Well, for Start. Dave Rohr with Northside Metrics, I'm Matt Sotola with Avalanche Media. And uh, we appreciate you guys joining us for the session. We appreciate all those guys that joined us at PubCon and uh, wanted to learn about, you know, what it takes to get a, a podcast going. And uh, please always uh, know that Dave and I are approachable online. Hit us up on social and we look forward to hearing from you guys. See you guys later. Bye. Thanks all.